I'm Diane and this is Cuba Cafon, my vlog about the raw, real, and uncomfortable realities of life that we don't usually like to admit and we definitely don't post on social media. And that, I think, is part of the problem with social media. We put things on social media like, hey, isn't it great? I finally got my kids to pitch in and do more chores and we're proud of that. And then other parents look at that and go, ugh, how come I can't do that? Yeah, my kids do some chores, but they don't do the laundry, and that's what we're going to talk about today. It might sound like a boring topic, but if you're a parent, especially a parent of a teenager, you might be a little interested. Let's take a look. I'm actually proud of the chores that my kids do do. They do quite a few chores. Yeah, I pay them for them. Not a ton, but they do get an allowance, and they do the dishes most of the time. My daughter takes care of the pets almost all the time. They do quite a bit of sweeping, and look here. They sort, fold, and store the laundry most of the time, but it doesn't say wash and dry the laundry. Why is that? We're going to explore that. Well, I'll tell you, I have no problem with them loading the dishwasher any way they want, doing the dishes however they want, as long as they're clean and they're put away. If they sweep the floor and they miss a few dust bunnies around, I'm okay with that. And they're supposed to clean their rooms. Okay, let's see. Have they made their beds? Yes, they make their beds. Um, their rooms are sort of clean. Look, my son cleaned his desk, and it's kind of remained pretty clean. And they don't have food all over their rooms. Um, my daughter's made her bed. This is kind of our fault that the mattress is still here. But look at this laundry. It's always overflowing. My daughter steps on her clothes to shove them in the hamper. Not a good idea. And what do both of my kids do? Complain to me constantly. You haven't done our laundry. Why has it been a week since you did laundry? Why has it been two weeks since you washed my shorts? And what do I feel like? A bad mom because... They're constantly complaining. I don't have my favorite pair of jeans. My baseball uniform's not clean. And the laundry is always in a state of never completely done. Never completely done. Right now, yay, there's a load of shorts all ready for them in the dryer. Will anyone take them out? Just take them out to fold and sort and put them away? No, I have to take them out put them in a laundry basket. I have a little sign that I put on it that says clean, and then they know it's time. But that's what everyone in the house is used to. They're used to me doing the washing, me doing the drying, me hanging them up to make sure they're not wrinkled. I usually don't put them in the laundry basket unless it's something that doesn't wrinkle. And then they take it from there. Why don't I let go and have them actually wash it? Well, part of the reason is, I kind of feel like I do the laundry best. I make sure to pre-treat everything. I make sure that it's not going to go in the dryer until it's pre-treated. And I think it might actually be my mom's fault because I watched her do my brother's laundry even when he was in college. I'm convinced he went to college in state just so he could come home once or twice a month with a huge duffel bag full of dirty laundry for my mom to do it. And now I've inherited that gene. I gotta let go. Am I the only one out there who can't seem to let their own teenagers do their own laundry? I want them to, I threaten all the time. Listen, if you keep complaining about doing the laundry, just do it yourself. But there's one way that I can get them to do it themselves. Stop doing it for them. I just met a mom the other day who said, yep, that's what I did. I stopped doing my teenager's laundry. Sometimes they wear dirty stuff but sometimes they do it themselves. I don't know if I can do that. What about you?